Hey guys, Ryan over at Two Minute Tennis. This video is all about how to pronate when hitting a slice serve. A lot of players ask, how is it possible to pronate yet you get the ball to have slice? Great question. Until you aren't fully understand it, it can seem really complicated, but I think by the end of this video, you'll go, ah, that's how you do it, and you'll even know how to practice it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna deconstruct a topspin pro. What's nice about this is you can actually just take the shield off that you'll use when hitting ground strokes, and then you can quickly take off the shield, and now you have just a spin arm that you can use, whether it's for your child or your students or for yourself, you can learn how to hit a slice serve. So a slice serve, I'm actually gonna use my hand to make sense with this. Let me get you right in the middle of the screen. There you go. The slice serve is this, right? It's a vertical axis and you are sliding along the ball. Now, to be very specific, when you hit a slice serve, you aren't hitting the ear. You're actually thinking as this is, looks like a face, right? You're not hitting the ear, but you're actually hitting the nose of the ball going across this way. And so when you hit a slice serve, you're gonna be swinging, if you're right-handed, off to the right, and you're gonna swing like this. So you can see how that ball rotates. Right? It's almost like I'm a Harlem Globetrotter spinning the ball on my finger, right? So pronation is the act of as you hit, then your palm faces off to the right. So right now my palm is facing the target, which is the court, and then after I hit, my palm makes this move. So you can think thumb down, right? Hit, thumb down thumb down, right? So my palm is facing off to the right since I'm right-handed. Well, you can do that then with your students. Again, if you're a coach, I do this every day with my students here at the tennis club, and you're gonna slide along the ball and then turn. And so you wanna learn this move. When players talk about slice on their serve, they often talk about doing this, where they hit and curl around. Hitting and curling around is not how you hit a slice. Like to make this ball spin, I don't have to curl around it, right? I don't have to curl around it to get it to spin. I just make this move. And I'm gonna do that with my racket, but actually turn. See, pronation is the fastest way to move my hand. It's the, it, like if I hurt my hand, I go, ow. That's pronation, supination, pronation. Right, when I hurt my hand, I go, ow. Nobody does this when they're like, ow, my hand hurts. <laughs> you know, it's ow, right? If you, whatever, slam your fingers in a drawer or something. You're like, ah, that move is the fastest way to deliver the racket at contact. That's why it's so important that you pronate. So when you hit the ball with side spin, you get a ton of control. And when you pronate, you get a lot of racket speed. And that's a good thing, right? Spin craves speed, so you can make the ball curve and you can make the ball go quite fast, which is a recipe for winning a lot of, of service games. And so what you have to do is you have to hit and then turn, hit and then turn. So you're gonna make that move, right? So now, let me actually put that down. I'll get this base. That's the beauty of the topspin pro. You can do slice ground strokes, topspin ground strokes, topspin serves, you can do it all. It's not just for topspin ground strokes, as many people think. So what you can then do is practice this by choking up on your racket. I'm not even gonna try to be hitting this ball over the net, like hitting the ball over the net is not my concern. I'm gonna use a continental grip, which is my knuckle and my heel pad on bevel number two. A few days ago I posted, so definitely check on my uh, account, I talk about proper grips, so definitely look at the uh, video of me talking about how to find the two spots in your hand and how to place your hand correctly on the racket. It'll make a lot of sense if you're unsure about the grip to use on a slice serve. But you wanna use a continental grip and all I want you to do is just toss the ball, slide along the ball, and then turn the racket. So toss, slide, turn. You can notice that it's, it's very chunky right now, which is actually what I want you to do if you're just learning this. Toss, slide, turn. Toss, slide, turn just to get the parts of the swing. What I don't want you to do is hit flat, right? I don't want you hitting flat into the ball. Tennis is an edge game. Tennis is a game of edges, learning whether it's the slice, whether it's an overhead hitting a slice serve, whether it's a topspin. It's about leading toward the ball with the edge of the racket. So once you do that a lot, again, notice I'm not trying to hit the ball anywhere near, actually frame that one, I'm not trying to hit the ball anywhere near over the net, once you start to get the hang of this, then you're gonna to wanna to do it more seamlessly. Now you're gonna do it 
all in one motion. So you'll watch, I'm gonna hit and turn without stopping. So now my strings are facing off to the right. Watch this one in slow motion. I think it'll make a little more sense. So that was easy to see. Slid along the ball, and then turn. The goal is for me to hit the back of the ball, meaning I need to make the ball go where I want it to go. Players who hit flat serves tend to hit without any spin, tend to hit the ball and swing toward their target. So what's weird about the slice is in your, or the continental grip is you're given a continental grip and then your brain is so used to swinging toward the target that then you go like this. So the key to that is you have to hit the same part of the ball you typically hit, but now you've got to swing off to the right if you're right-handed. Opposite if you're a lefty, you're swinging off to the right. The ball goes where your strings point, not where the racket travels. Let me say that again. The ball goes where your strings point, not where the racket travels. This is the perfect illustration of this. My strings are facing the sky, right? Strings are facing up, and my racket's traveling to your right. Notice where the ball's going. The ball's going up. The ball has no idea, I shouldn't say that, but because the ball is spinning right now. In fact, if I, if I move away from it, you can see the ball take off. The, the, the ball is spinning when that occurs, but the ball goes where your strings point. So you want to have your strings face your target with a continental grip, and then you want to be swinging, if you're right-handed, off to the right. And you can see where the ball goes. The ball goes where my strings point. I am swinging to the next court. And that's why the ball is going where I want it to go. Because my strings are facing that way, but you don't want to swing that way. You want to swing off to the right. That's what gets the strings to face your target, but the swing off to the right gives the ball its rotation, and the rotation is what gives you the control. So if you have a Top Spin Pro, take it apart for five seconds and then just learn how to spin and turn, spin and turn, spin and turn. Then go onto the court, and you can do that on the court. Just take it with you, right? It's portable. Take it to the tennis court to practice. Then practice choking up so it's nice and easy. Slide along the ball, then turn. Slide along the ball, then turn. Then do it seamlessly, where after you slide, it's a really smooth turn. Once you do that, I'll hit a couple serves here. I have not warmed up my arm, so I'm not gonna serve too, too hard. But once you get used to the pronation, it becomes so much easier. I'm not editing this. <laughs> not every ball in, on Instagram goes over the net. There we go, that was a good one. Once you get used to the pronation, once you get used to sliding and turning, your serve's gonna go faster. It's gonna be more consistent because of the spin. And you're definitely gonna hold serve more often. Have a great day, guys. If you have any questions or comments, throw them below and I'll be happy to answer them. See you soon.